All right, got another adventure. Um, no packed food or water. Well, for a day or two. The parking lot. I'm gonna walk the trails, go to River Valley, and uh, see what I can get. I'll try to get some wild edibles. Wherever you go, there's bound to be trash. And um, I'm gonna use this for the hand caster. So that's the plan. A little trick of the trade. You got water, but you don't have um, your platy is too narrow mouthed and big to get to it. You got a little cup. This water looks great. I mean, it looks uh, crystal clear, but um, it's either going to be boiled or uh, drunk through the straw. This is kind of mundane, but um, no water, no good. High voltage power lines, which makes it for an open field. Power lines run well, like forever. But open field means opportunity maybe for um, forage, or maybe not. It remains to be seen. So. Gorgeous day, I'll tell you that. Really gorgeous. So I'm gonna look for um, a couple things here. I'm gonna need dry grass. I'm gonna need um, I'm gonna need uh, cedar, cedar bark. Look for wild carrots. Um, maybe grapes at the margins if there are any. Well, trying to avoid my arch nemesis, the tick. I gather, um, I got plants of sweet fern for later. I could make a tea out of it, but I'm going to, uh, There we go. Use this uh, for smudge, or maybe for um, bug repellent if I have bug problems later, or for poison ivy. So, of course, not all those statements I just made were uh, supported by the uh, FDA. Yeah, let me gather up um, a bunch of this. I'll be using this for um, our Tinder bundle. Also, uh, some of this stuff here, a little fluffy stuff. So we'll gather up all this dry, dry weed. I'm gonna need that tonight. Got some more fluffy stuff up there. All right, it's a little smorgasbord of uh, tinder. So let me gather that right now. So we got over here. I don't think this bark here is too bad. Fluff that up. All right, let me get, let me gather. I get my fill from this tree. A few others should give me what I need. This right about here looks to be uh, the wild carrot. Leaves are much like regular carrots. Let's see if I can't get to them. Pick them up. It's not much. But it smells like a carrot. And if it smells like a carrot, odds are, that's what it is. These are rose hips. There we are.
You can definitely tell. No question what those are. We have some naturalized apples. A lot of these have been uh, chewed on. I'm not even sure where the tree is, to be honest with you. I think that's a tree right there, I believe. These are black walnuts. The leaves, they basically turn uh, yellow. There's roughly, um, I don't know, maybe eight, eight or so on each side, something like that. They start off the green. As they ripen, they turn uh, progressively blacker and the shell starts to go away. The shell, the tannins on here, really staying pretty good. So I'm going to have um, brown hands after I'm all done with this. A little wood sorrel. Add to the list. Yeah, that's definitely a Sorrel. Keep on moving. Some hickory nuts. There's a little green. That one's out of the shell. It's probably ready to go. In fact, there's, there's a good number in this area. That's what it looks like. I'm going to pick up a bunch of them. Really good source of calories. Here's uh, slow, the husk. Oh, the husk and the nut. And uh, I just gather that this is probably the tree that they're all from. All right, I'm going to gather these hickory nuts. Time is running short. I need to go fishing. So next is to work on the uh, hobo fishing rig. I can down towards the um, river. I've got uh, a couple hours, a couple hours left of uh, daylight. A huge amount of time, we got some time. And we're going to go, we'll go up to Trout. I think that's the plan. And go after Trout. We were always in the market for some of this. There we go. This is a uh, yellow birch. I can remove this outer fluffy bark without doing any any harm to the tree whatsoever. And it always grows near, well not always, but a lot of times found near water. Not always, but a lot of times. So okay, I'm gonna take what I need, keep moving. Close I'm right on the river now. Still gotta set up my camp, start my fire, catch something. Oh, I got something, something, something working it. Somebody's on it. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem too serious about it. Well, it's just a little tiny fish. I'll try again. Yep. Just uh, smashing up some quartz, throwing it in there for my um, quartz and steel or quartz and knife fire. Here's what we got. Um, got a bunch of water. This is uh, dried grass from that high field. There's also some fluffy stuff in there. 
this did not work out. It's kind of unfortunate, but um, just uh, I tried. The water's too low. Didn't catch any fish with it. But I caught a lot of disappointment and a lot of wasted time. So I guess it wasn't a total loss. Cedar bark, which I have plans for for the uh, Firecraft. This is um, wild carrot. It's not much, but it's something. A little um, sweet fern. Probably use it for a smudge. Uh, some people make a tea out of it, but I've never really done that. Uh, the yellow birch bark. A good little stash of uh, naturalized wild apples. And they're not native to here, but they're you can find them around where they got away. And there they are, they're naturalized, grown wild. A whole pile of hickory nuts. This is um, probably going to be it. <laughs> really good source of um, calories. A bunch of um, black walnuts. We'll be cracking these open a little later. What else? Uh, some uh, rose hips. Make some tea out of that. Crushed quartz. This will be used um, for the firecraft. We crushed it up earlier. So that's about it. Unfortunately, um, no trout. There's a pile of firewood. A uh, real simple, 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 simple pot hook. So uh, we'll um, get the, this water's not potable. It needs um, it needs to be boiled. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get the fire going, and we're gonna boil that. Maybe I'll boil up these wild carrots just for the fun of it. They smell like carrots, so they're not anything else. And the leaf, the, the upper part. Now, the um, regular wild carrots are biannual. So when you see the Queen's Anne's Lay stage, that's kind of like when they're too late. That's the second year of growth. This is the first year when they got the same leaves as uh, the carrots growing in your garden. Okay. This here is the fire kit. <laughs> <laughs> this is weak sauce. I mean, this is really weak sauce. Just the uh, carbon steel knife. Some chaga. The chaga is from my state, but it's been dried, so it's ready to go. Quartz, which I crushed up uh, today. So I've got two plans. One, I'm going to try to toss a spark on this chunk, igniting it. If that fails me, I'm going to try to make the dust, and then put then ignite it in there. This is not what I would recommend for a fire kit. I mean, it's really, um, it's not too far from um, rubbing two sticks together, which actually is on my plans, too. This doesn't work. And uh, the cedar bark, I intend to um, char this in there, which should make tomorrow's fire go a lot easier than this. Because I don't know, maybe this will catch right up, maybe it won't. <laughs> you just never know. So, all right, well, let me get this uh, fire set up. We'll get it burning. All right, let's give this one a try. Okay. 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 Here's the coal. Obviously the dusted chaga. If you have chaga and it's giving you a hard time. There's the coal right there. I don't want to lose this. Put it in. I'll keep a little coaling right here. I 
I can keep a little bit in this tin. In case something goes wrong, it'll give me another opportunity, another cull. Because, you know, I may never get that again. Well, I will, but doesn't always primitive fire. You don't always get a second shot. Okay. There it goes. Excellent. I'm not a big trout, but um, it's a ripe apple. Start working into those nuts. That sounded kind of weird. <laughs> the natives are getting restless. Getting very, very restless out there. Hmm. All right. So I try this wild carrot. Mm. Well, I mean. It's a carrot, you know, I mean, couldn't have been uh, five calories, but um, that's a carrot. So, here's what it is. All right. A little walnut action basically knock away the husk as I said before it's gonna stain the heck out of my fingers but um, this is gonna be really um, really good source of calories and um, there you go to get this black husk away that's a little green well it'll still be good Just here. Wow. There we go. Mmm. All right, that's great. It's the black walnut. Full of fats. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Yep, it's a winner. Mm. 
black walnut. I eat a bunch of these. Crack some more open. Put you guys, put you aside here for a second. That is just, just like a walnut. <laughs> you know why? Because it is a walnut. I mean, you know, probably one of my better, definitely one of my better scores of the day. Oh, it's great. No complaints there, no complaints there at all. Hey, next up on the block, um, my favorite, one of my favorites, the hickory nuts. Oh yeah, that looks good. I mean, you know, it's not, um, it's not a big trout. Roasting over the coals, but I'm kind of hungry, so <laughs> it's not bad at all. Just, just gonna take time. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's definitely boiling. Let's see here. Yeah, that is definitely boiling. All right, so um, I'm gonna speculate that it's boiling. It's been purified. So let's see what we got here. You know, it's, that's not half bad. It's not, um, kind of apple-y. Not surprising. Uh, tastes like, uh... <sighs> Alright. Right. It's not bad. There we go. And that is why we did the fire chain. And a big bundle right on top. Roast these apples over the fire for a little bit. I'm using a um, combination of the old pot hook stand and that. So, um, okay, just a quick overview of my camp. There's uh, my V bag, Tennessee Hammock Explorer Deluxe. It's usual good job. Um, go like poncho, some fleece. Safari EMR, platy bag, GSI kettle. Okay, I'm gonna pack all this down. Heading out. Campsite's all cleaned up. There's my cooking area. Oh, fire 
pit's all doused out. No chance of fire there. A really, 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 really simple pot hook. Apple shish kebabber. I always like uh, simple tools. Some people make very complicated pot hooks, and you know that's cool and all, but um, I don't have time for that. All right, that is the end of this adventure. I'm just gonna hike out. That's uh, no packed food, no packed water, no packed matches, lighter, or ferrocium. Not a big deal. Nice fall weather. But it is what it is. And uh, thank you very much for watching.